Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. August 3rd, 2024. I feel fantastic. I hope you also feel fantastic. Today I have a nice one for you. It's an exercise system I use. It's on the internet, but nobody knows about this because it's only used, the professionals use this, but it's not used for longevity, which is extremely important what I'm about to show you for longevity. Okay, it's called oscillatory training exercises. Oscillation means up and down. What you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you the ex some of the exercises, some of them. You have to stay within a five to 10 centimeter range, which is about the same as two to four inches. The movement has to be like this. Okay, up and down. These are not partials. A partial is different than oscill oscillation exercises. A partial is a one directional. You go down halfway, you come back up. You go down halfway, you come back up. Oscillatory training is where you maintain tension, but within a two to four inch range, up and down like this. Okay, what it does is it activates all the motor units. I mean, all of them. You have to do as many reps as you can. It activates the fast type 2X motor units also, because there is evidence that fast movement, you don't have to use heavy weights to do four to six, uh, three to one rep, three rep, to activate the fast twitch type 2X muscle fibers. You can do fast movement. It also activates fast twitch muscle fibers. I'm gonna put a study on the screen and in the description. Or everything I say here is gonna be supported by studies. It will be in the description. Now I'm gonna show you the exercises. Remember, it has to be within a two to four inch frame, like this. And what, when you, when you, I'm gonna give you an example. People always tell you on the internet, when you, do, when you do reps, you have to go all the way up, all the way down to get the full range of motion. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, you continue to do those. But that doesn't activate the fast twitch muscle fibers. All you're doing is training slow twitch muscle fibers. You actually train yourself to move slow. What I'm about to show you is something that people will laugh at. Oh, you can't do this. It's not good for you. No, it is good for you. Trust me. This is one of my tips. This is one of my secrets that I can cut, I can cut and run and move like someone much younger than me. These are, these are some of the things that help me. Now I'm gonna show you some of the exercises. Maybe they will help you. They're not hard to do. They're not hard to do at all. They're very easy to do. You just have to do a lot of reps and fast, as fast as possible. So let's get on with the exercises. Let me show you this, let's get going. First, let me explain the principle. When you're walking up the stairs, you don't go all the way down and all the way up. You climb up the stairs like this, right? You see the tension. The tension stays right here. Same with your when, when you're running, like you're playing football. Okay? And I'm going to cut. The tension here. I don't go all the way down, all the way up. You have to train that tension, which also helps the joints ligaments and tendons. There's another thing I use to maintain healthy joints, ligaments, and tendons. Let me show you one more time. Okay, I'm gonna cut. You see, when you cut, when you cut, you're not going all the way down. So why train all the way down? You train the part with the tension. I'll do it again. You see, when I'm spinning, when I'm spinning, when I'm spinning, I'm not going all the way down. I'm spinning. Tension. Tension. Tension, knee joints. So now I'm gonna show you the exercises. It's okay to go, to do full range of motion. Like, I'm gonna give you like, if I wanna do a squat, right? I go all the way down, all the way up. But that doesn't help fast motor units, the fast switch muscle fibers that we lose as we age. These do. Okay, again, get in the position. You go here. 
and you go up and down. Fast. Catch this. That's number one. It looks like nothing. It protects your joints, your ligaments, and tendons. It makes them strong and elastic. Okay? We're gonna do another one. You can do oscillation exercises with any exercise, even with weights. When you use weights, you gotta use 30 to 50% of your one max wrap. You can't go heavy, but you gotta go fast. Two to four inches. I'm gonna even do lunges. Okay? That's it, just do this. You don't have to go all the way down. These are not oscillations, oscillations right here. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. Do as many reps as you can. This builds, I mean, it builds, it builds, builds these so good. Ligaments, tendons, muscles, motor units, fast. It does it all. Let me show you some other exercises. We're gonna use the same principle with pull-ups. Okay. Do the full range. Do the full range. You can do those on a separate day, but one day of the week you should do oscillatory training exercises. You get here, you get right here. That's for the pull-ups. Stay in that two to four inch, inch range. It recruits all the motor units fast, slow, and super fast, including its corresponding fast twitch fibers, slow twitch fibers, all of them. It hits everything. Okay, now I'm gonna show you an oscillation push-up. I'm gonna do it from the side. You don't go too far down, and you don't go too far up. You go right around here, but you stay within this range. You gotta maintain the tension. The up and down tension, it gotta be constant. Because if you go all the way down, the tension stops. The tension stops. The tension right here. Maintain tension. Maintain tension and you recruit the fast twitch, slow twitch, and the super fast twitch. Because you're moving fast. Okay. In conclusion, I want to say that these exercises, I do these every week to maintain youthful ligaments, tendons, and joints. I have no pains in my joints, and I know these are helping. These help. So you should try them. Not only will you strengthen your muscles, you will activate, recruit fast motor units, slow motor units, and super fast motor units, and its corresponding Fast twitch fibers, slow twitch fibers, all of them. You will see that when you're going up the stairs, even if you run up the stairs, because you trained that tension, that, that little area, you trained it, you trained it, and it gets the ligaments strong. It protects you from knee pain, joint, any joint pain. Whatever exercise you do, you could do uh, shoulders. Just remember, these are only one exercise that doesn't mean you, you stop 
the full range of motion exercise. You do those also, but you need to do it all. You need to incorporate everything. Professional athletes do these exercises to, to keep when they're cutting, when they got to throw a baseball. When you throw a baseball, you don't go all the way. You have to, sometimes you have to snap really quick to throw a baseball. Or when you throw a punch, you don't go all and you go like that. You snap. You got to train that tension. The snap. This is what helps. This, these oscillatory training exercises help you with that snap, that force. Because your ligaments and tendons all work together with your joints and muscles. I hope this information helps you in some way. Try the exercises, even if it's once a week. Incorporate it in all your routines, even the weights. But remember, as I said, maintain low weight when you're doing this, between 30 to 50%. As always, speak to your medical provider before trying these exercises to determine if you are fit to do them. All the best to you. See you again soon in my next video. Have a great day.